Hola everyone, it's me, Woki. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm Mexican. I have to say, I think I've said I'm Mexican in every single one of these videos. Hello everyone, I'm ready for another adventure. I'm back with more storytelling. Going through the Samba Santa event, aka Samba Night Holy Night. Reading all through it because I love Samba and to the event never comes back. So if you want to just hear it through my voice, hey, congratulations, you're going to do that. Now, of course, to keep this, I'm going to do this regardless. But it would really be how it would be very nice for more of my personal morale if you left a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I appreciate everyone who does, of course. It also does help the channel, but hey, for this specific weird series that I'm doing, it just helps me keep myself motivated. So let's continue the story. We're actually going to fight once again, so that should be good. Let's see. I have not leveled up my own Bradamante, so I can't use her yet, unfortunately. But I should be fine. Let me see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to Let me edit party. Yeah, sure, I'll clear all. I should actually be using this for. Okay, so I'm gonna use him here. Go here. Put my girl here. Put respect on that. Now, unfortunately, I'm pretty positive I'm gonna run into some space issues very quickly. But I should be fine, I think. The funny thing is, I never pulled a single 3 CE in that entire video. If you see my summon video, I didn't pull a single 3 CE at all. It's actually kind of funny now that I look at it. Alright, this should be enough. I don't know why I'm using you. Um, Scotty, you literally do not work with my girl. There we go. That's slightly better. Yeah, that works. Let's go! By the way, I might as well ask, you haven't seen Ruggerio anywhere, have you? Who? My brother, dude. In the Legends of Charlemagne, Bradamante is generally depicted as pursuing her lover, Ruggerio. They started out as enemies, but fell in love after fighting a duel, only for fate to tear them apart. Then she goes on a search far and wide for a lover, refusing to give, her, give up no matter the hardship she encounters. I remember that story well. It's a wonderful tale of bravery and adventure. It's a little embarrassing to hear you all say like that. But yes, that's pretty much what happened. Even now, chasing after things is just in my nature. I can't help but try to look for them. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. You're the first servant we've met here. I don't think he's at Chaldea either. Gotcha. Maybe he's just nowhere to be found anymore. But that doesn't mean I'm that doesn't mean I'm giving up, Toki. But that doesn't mean I'm giving up. <laughs> Whether I'm being pushed off a cliff or getting trapped in a mage's illusions, I don't ever give up. I can still see justice done, whether Rugario is here or not. It's funny that all these French names are like pronounced kind of in the Spanish way, so you can at least count on me to be my very best manager. What? So you can at least, so you can always count on me to do my very best manager. Manager? Oh right, I almost forgot. Now that Brad Monte is here as our tag team, we share the same goal, winning the tournament. As for you, I told her you were our best trainer slash manager slash husband who will help us with everything besides the fighting itself yes as a knight i never for, as a knight i never forget my debts i owe it to those who support me in my adventures in fact i've always heard that you gave the order to help me when i was on the verge of disappearing your kindness reminds me of lord merlin Wokey, i have nothing but respect for you fo 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 damn I've never heard anyone actually speak fondly of Merlin. Not even the Knights of the Round Table like him. Honestly, I have to wonder, was it really his spirit that helped Bradamante on her adventures? Huh, did I just sense someone doubting Lord Merlin? <laughs> Thank God, because I can't whistle. Well, I guess this just goes to show how earnest she is. Makes sense, given how her thing is being in love. How much longer until we're there? It feels like we've been walking a long time now, no? We're almost there, all right? Would you just give a hush and meow and let me lead the way? I mean, it's not easy charting routes to keep all the different teams from running into each other, you know? 
In fact, I always it really wets my fur being caught up between good cuckoo and bad cuckoo like this. Even if I did already decide to side with a dark, scary cuckoo, if, since she she got to me first and really don't want to make her mad. I see. <clears throat> it sounds like you've had it hard too, Jaguar. Okay then, as soon as we keep our assigned gym, I'll pay you back my practicing my plancha on you. You'll be the perfect sacrificio to turn out this Spirit Origins new noble fan, I mean lucha technique. Whoa, 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 slow your roll there, Cuckoo. I'm just administering team here, remember? This cool cat's gotta take care of all the fighters. So you can keep your toe beans to yourself, you hear? You seriously stop using me as your emotional and physical punching bag. Hmm, <laughs> claro. That just means I'll have to dance the samba right on top of you, yes? Now feel this sensuous rhythm as it speaks directly to your conscious. <laughs> it's good every single time. <laughs> go, go. Please stop. I honestly can't take it, man. I can't take it. Man, why are you the only ones who get to be a different class? Man, why are you... Why are you... Why are you, you, the only one who gets to be a different class? That's a mistake. I feel like I should ask you... I should ask why you are all going... I... Hmm... I feel I should ask why you are going to all this trouble to keep different teams from running into each other. Oh, that? Dark Cuckoo said it was to keep the matches as fair as possible. That's why we're keeping the fighters' info top secret, even from the other fighters. We're all keeping the brackets all hush-hush, meow. Otherwise, these matches might be decided by whoever has the most intel, rather than who's really the strongest, meow. I see. I should have known my other half would be so thorough. Of course, this isn't stopping the townspeople from trading rumors and placing bets, but that's not my domain, so... Anyway, we provide a fair and fair as a venue as possible, and all the you fighters have to do is give it your all. So that's why you're giving us all our own gyms out here in the jungle. Any we are not, I must commend your chivalry in it. Right? It's not just the gym. The whole jungle is great for training, too. The reason being... Dun, 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 dun. It's chock full of monsters like these. There shouldn't be anything like these creatures in modern Mexican jungles. Black Quetzal Mask and Christmas Girl must have brought them here, just like the snow. At any rate, I should help them run around doing whatever they please. At any rate, I can't let them run around doing whatever they please. It's be a good preliminary. This should be a good warm up. Correcto, Master. Let me just put my mask on and get in character. Well, partner, are you ready? Don't worry, if these are weak, we can carve our way through them as easily as dancing a samba, yes? Right, thanks to Wookie, we got enough magical energy back too. Let's go, Quetzal Mask. I'll show you firsthand how brightly my magical shield of justice shines. Excuse me? Oh, man. Loading. Reindeer man. Glad I love that. Alright, get him down, Aaron Arash. Don't be mad. Such a good. I look what so much. I don't know how much times I can say that, but I really do love her. Jesus, you're so goddamn strong. <laughs> These guys are probably gonna drop bronze material, aren't they? I just realized that. Not bronze material, but the, the lowest tier material. The three star Christmas ghost. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Did you just save Vegeta? No, I kind of. Hmm. Should be enough. No, it should be enough, but I just wanted to do that. God, Quetz is so stupid strong. Ooh, that was close, but not enough. Hmm. Yeah, this way. There's no way Merlin's able to take him out of my head, but it should be fine. Oh. 
lot of Merlin abuse going on right now. Hmm. I don't know if she'll be able to kill with these two, but it would come close. I forget how much, how long freaking Garden of Avalon actually takes. It's a long ass special. Okay, let's see. Uh, no. There we go. There we go. Now, if she crits, she should be able to take him down, but I don't think she'll be able to crit. Well, never mind. She crit because she felt that I, I, I was judging her. Super reindeer, man. Alright, so I'm gonna take out at least two dudes here, I think. Okay. Go here, here, here. That should be enough to, I think, take down at least Super Reindeer Man. I mean, he could actually survive it. He doesn't have, um, type disadvantage, I think. Ah, <laughs> never mind. She did more than twice. It would have been funny if the other ghosts figured out a way to survive. How do you continue fighting, my ghost man? After seeing all that shit just happen? I'm not gonna use her noble phantom because there's no reason. She's gonna whack him in the fucking face. Yeah. <laughs> Dead. <sighs> that voice line. The one voice line I really do not like from her. Because it's wrong! Uno, dos. She goes, tres. Dos uno, which is not how you count in wrestling at all. You go three, two, one. Wait. No, you don't go three, two, one. I'm stupid. It's late. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back once again for more story. Let's get right into it. As I've said previously in previous videos, I'm doing this uh, day kind of basically daily, as long as there is story beats daily. Um, one, because I love quets. Assemble. All foolhardy. Aspiring Santos. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. No contender will shall be turned away. The path to becoming a true Santa is open to also on Mexican and Hispanic. I can do this accent. It's also Ren from Ren and Stimpy. However, some rules must be set in place, lest everyone on Earth be swept up in a massive battle royale. And so I hope you will understand why I have chosen to limit the pool of applicants by the country of origin. And yes, before you ask, yes, Ren from Ren and Stimpy is supposed to be like a Mexican Peter Lorre. In return, I promise that the sweetness of fighting for your homeland will make the battles all the more delicious. Same teams from many countries, all with their own ambitions. This is fucking cool. We're representing a mysterious country. See, see, see. Once we become the true Santa, Christmas will be ours to rule. Greed. Representing a mystery country. Of course I'm going to have- of course I'm going for this. I have to. Duty. Representing a mystery ocean. Duhaha! <laughs> Once we become Santa, even we won't have any trouble scoring chicks. That's your mood? Okay. As long as we never give up, we have as good a chance of becoming Santa as anyone. Dreams. Representing a mystery city. What do I think about Santa? As if you need to ask. Santa is a weapon. Music is the choice. Power. We at Santa Tag Team Tournament have censored this comment due to the excessive brutality. We apologize for the inconvenience. <laughs> Pleasure. Representing Caldea. Don't worry, everyone. I've seen here is the week. Wait, what? I've been here. I've been. I've seen here. Everyone I've seen here is so weak. We can tear our way through them as easily as dancing a samba, yes? Confusion. Etc. 
I guess that is what the, they're considering her. Uh, remember, regardless of your motives for becoming true Santa, all are equal once they step through these robes. Now the ring has been set. Come forth contenders among contenders for the crown of Santa and I show you what you are made of. The 100 team Santa tag team tournament begins now. 100 teams? Hmm, I wonder if they're changing it. What did I just watch? Can't say I saw that promo video coming. Um, Jaguar Warrior, what was that? The video? The boss said to play it after showing each team their gym based thingy, meow. It's a smart, stylish way to get the fighters fired up in lieu of an opening ceremony. You should be glad you got to see it. We also had the fighters wear disguises so they wouldn't spoil anything. I guess you could call them Mysterian servants? So why was the only one who didn't <laughs> So why was I the only one who didn't do that for? You didn't do that for. In fact, our whole section of the video was taken from the battle we had with those monsters just now. And I'm quite sure you chose the only you chose that only to make it look like I was talking trash, yes? I think I even saw confusion written on the screen right after. This is an absolute malicious editing. Yep, that footage was 100% fresh, right from the camera to the screen. Dark Cuckoo said to go ahead and use it since nobody would know who the mysterious wo masked woman was, so I did. This isn't my fault. Please don't samba my conscience again. What about the part where it had said 100 teams would be competing? Is that true? Sure is. We're talking about a week-long tournament where one team could end up fighting up to seven matches. That's not even counting the four seed... <laughs> what? That's not counting the four seed teams Dark Cuckoo has waiting in the wings. They're kind of like the four heavenly kings, and they're scary as hell, meow. And for your information, there's no telling if any of the teams you saw in that video are one of the special Z teams. And there's only no guarantee. There's no guarantee that you'll be matched against one during the tournament. So when's our first match? Let's see. You guys are in a special slot, so you got pretty much. So you've got pretty much you. You've pretty much got at least a whole day. Of course, the only first round's got the first fighter, so... Gonna be really rough. I ain't kidding you, there'll be a familiar clones the works. Anyway, I'll come get you... Right before you're up, so... Go ahead and spend your time, however you like, until then. In fact, go do what you want and like it. The first match will be essentially important, so we'll have to make sure we're ready for anything. Let's see, what do you want us to do, Wilkie? Why don't you two spar in the ring get to each other's styles? Yeah, let's go with this. Makes sense to me. Will do. I promise I'll do everything I can to get ready for our match. No objections here. Let's make sure we're in tip-top shape for our match, brother man. Oh, could you just call me by my normal name when we're not in a match? It feels kind of weird otherwise. I wonder if her name is a... Pun on Terry, man. Oh wow, is that? Was there only five minutes? Oh, this this uh, the sea is so good looking. I love it. Oh wow, that was it. So I'm just gonna include this to the previous part, I guess. Oh man. All right then. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.